What's going on, YouTube? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another edition of Titan Anderson Sports, you guys. And as you guys can tell up there, the Tennessee Titans lose to the New Orleans Aints, the Saints, 16 to 15. Uh, we're going to break down a bunch of it. Um, just don't have time to go live later, so I'm going to make a video and, and we can kind of enjoy it live together. So um, I know a lot of you guys are upset. I'm <laughs> Trust me, I've got a lot of videos, a lot of reaction videos coming out for from uh, the live stream. And shout out to everybody. I think it's like somewhere around 9,000 views and almost, I don't know, 300 likes or somewhere around there. So shout out to everybody that, that you know, was at the show. It was what a crazy ass live stream. Um, everyone brought the energy and stuff like that. It just sucked, man. That There was just so much that went into it, man. There really was. So I'm going to, um, let me make this a little smaller so that I can kind of get to this with you guys. Um, it's very upsetting, but that being said, um, we lost because of Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, and I want everyone in the chat section to put why they think we lost. Obviously, we, you know, using Derrick Henry only for only 15 carries, 63 yards, 4.2 average, 18 as long as is ridiculous. Um, just didn't use him enough. Uh, we, we threw the ball in situations where we didn't even need to really do that. So that's, that was a huge problem right there. Huge, huge problem. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's nothing to, to really be too concerned about, um, I don't think. Just because if Ryan Tannehill would have hit those wide open guys, we wouldn't even be talking about Derrick Henry only getting 15 carries because it wouldn't have even mattered. Ryan Tannehill missed on those guys. He's 16 for 34, 198 yards, 5.8 in average, no touchdowns, three interceptions. It could have been at least five or six interceptions. A few of them were dropped. Um, it's just... It's it's crazy, bro. Uh, Ty J was ended up was able to show up three for twenty seven, nine yards to carry. Seventeen was his longest. Uh, you know you have the receivers. The receivers you have D Hop seven for sixty five, thirteen targets, which is crazy. It just you can't force feed him, bro. Don't do that. Don't force feed him. Uh, some of those throws, like I said with Tannehill, that's why I put the blame on him completely. Uh, some of those throws are unacceptable. Just unacceptable. You can't make those throws, and he knows that. Uh, NWI had 58 receiving yards on four catches. Derrick Henry, two catches for 56 yards on three targets. 46 was that longest on that screen. Beautiful play. Traylon Burks disappointing with only two catches for 18 yards. Chris Moore didn't get a catch, and Chig didn't get a catch. And um, Chig's having problems getting creating separation, you guys. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Um, and and um, not all of them. On the, on, on the plays he was open... They should have been touchdowns. So it's kind of 50-50 with Chig sometimes. Sometimes it seems like he's completely taken out of the game or, or, or out of the play, sorry. And then the next play, he's sitting there wide open. The quarterback won't throw him the ball. I mean, there's two, like the wide open play, walk-off touchdown for Chig, overthrew him. Just overthrew him. That's not Chig's fault. That's a terrible ass throw and he's wide open. You got to hit that. You have to knock that down. And then the other throw across, he doesn't even see it. Interception, he should have thrown it to him across. Nobody was even on him. That's a walk-in touchdown. Tannehill just continues to struggle. Fumbles, Amani Hooker has the, the fumble, force fumble, the fumble recovery. Again, man, when you see Amani Hooker, first play of the game, kickoff. Titans won the kick, the coin toss. We defer. Um, Amani Hooker forces the fumble and gets the recovery. Already in field goal range, and we don't do nothing with it. Let's check out these defensive stats, won't we? Tackles. Okay, we got uh, total tackles. Nine for Bayard, eight for Molden, eight for Gibby, six for Sean Murphy bunting. Um, so pretty good overall. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I think it's a, I think it's pretty good. Um, hold on, let me see over here. I can't really tell um, if, if the things are going to be down here or if it's going to be over here. I think it's over. Yeah, let me, let me scoot it over real quick, you guys. Sorry. Okay, um, Okay, it's not over there. Sorry, I'm not sure where it is right now. Don't worry about it. Um, that being said, these guys, um, there's the pass defense right there. Elijah Molden pass defense. Um, you know, Elijah Molden came up big on that play at the end um, on Chris Olave where they thought it was almost pass interference, and I was like, nah, dude, don't, don't even throw that. Don't even throw that, bro, like for real. Where is it at? I'm trying. I'm curious to see where it's at. The hold up, real quick. Okay, so it's already showing. It'll be somewhere else then. Sorry, fella. Sorry. All right. Uh, Pop Tart blowing up plays. Uh, Arden Key a sack and a half. I think he should have had at least three. 
D- uh, Danico Autry a sack and a half. Um, where's Big Jeffs? Jeffrey Simmons a sack. Okay, so that that's uh, four total sacks for the Tennessee Titans. Um, I wanted us to get at least five, between five and seven, so um, not bad there. Amani Hooker with the interception, beautiful play, jumping the route there. Um, Kiaras Jackson, I'm, I'm okay with him overall. I think he did a good job. Um, you know, Nick Folk, five for five, um, made all of them. Longest of 50-yard field goal, put up all 15 of our points. Got to give him a shout-out. Ryan Stonehouse, you got... Um, Ryan Stonehouse, you got three punts for 107 yards, 35.7 net average. Uh, inside the 20 once, and the longest was a 62-yarder. Okay, let's see. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I wanted to see the... Um, again, man, um, overall, I think we should have definitely used um, used our guys a lot more. Uh, it, uh, again, Henry Moore and... and we wouldn't even be talking about this right now if if Ryan Tannehill would have hit those wide open guys. Um, you got Derek Carr, twenty three out of thirty three, three hundred five, nine point two in average, one touchdown, one pick, four sacks for twenty three, um, a rating of ninety six point one. So again, that's what Derek Carr brings you. He's gonna, you know, he can make every throw. He's a good quarterback. Uh, we shut the run down. Longest run of the day was 11 yards. Jamal Williams, 18 carries for 45 yards, at 2.5 average, and no touchdowns. Shout out to the defense on that man. Uh, Chris Olave, eight catches, 112 yards. Rashid Shahid has eight, five for 89 and a touchdown. Both of them had four, a 45 and a 40, 41 yarder, so you got to limit those. Michael Thompson, or Michael Thomas, being that guy who's just that that bully, it's five for 61. Um, they've got weapons over there, you guys, and they're going to get Kamara back as well. So shout out to them; they did a good job. Um, again, I think if we would have completed our passes, we wouldn't even be talking about this. Um, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable how this happened. Um, we're going to go through this, uh, this, this Titans drop the season opener in a second, but what do you guys think about that Derrick Henry stiff arm? Just, yeah. And that's not the one in the picture below, but bro, he threw him into the underworld. It's crazy. He launched his ass like, bro. So let's check in with Jim and see what he's got to say, and then we're just going to break everything down. And, I, and, I, and again, when th- when this is uh, previewed live, I'll be in the chat section talking with you guys, going through it. Um, I know you guys are all upset. I'm pissed off. I have, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna be chopping up the live stream and making some videos for us, you guys, and um, all the new subscribers and everything like that. Shout out to all you guys. So crazy as hell man crazy 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 so let's let's let, let's check out let's check this out man so it says new orleans in the big easy the titans made it hard on themselves the result was a 16 to 15 season opening loss to the saints mistakes turnovers and red zone failures ended up dooming the titans on sunday coach mike Vrabel he says we have to play a lot better we have to come up and uh with some more plays defensively um we have to match another defense that is excellent first of all our defense was great. I'm not. I don't. I, nah. Our de- there's no excuse. Our defense did great. We didn't do very good in the, the red zone. We have to get a stop on defense late. Uh, we'll have to p- play better, and we will. Dude, are you kidding me? If our offense would have scored points, we wouldn't have had any even mention about no defense. This is ridiculous. Um, but I don't think we gave it away. Just too many mistakes. Uh, Titans. Ryan Tan- uh, quarterback Ryan Tannehill was intercepted three times, and he was sacked three times. He also could have been intercepted another two or three times. Uh, the Titans were just 2 of 12, 16.7% on third down on Sunday. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We were terrible. Um, it's a sick feeling in your gut, obviously, Tannehill said, who completed 16 of 34 passes for 198 yards with no touchdowns, the three interceptions, and a 28.8 rate, uh, passer rating. Again, 28.8 passer rating. We didn't go out and play... Um, we didn't go out and play the way we wanted to play. We weren't good enough in the red zone. Missed opportunities, mistakes, all of it. I think we should be you. We have to be better in a lot of different areas. I have to give a lot of credit to the Saints. They played a good game. But at the end of the day, I have a lot of faith in my guys and myself that we can execute better than we did. I mean, you can't play it. You can't execute any worse, right? I mean, I hope not. Titans running back Derrick Henry carried the ball 15 times for 63 yards in the contest, and he also caught two passes for 56 yards. The GOAT, man. DeAndre Hopkins led the Titans with seven catches, as we already went over, for 65 yards. 
Um, they were the better team today, and we didn't take advantage of the opportunities we had, Henry said. We have to be better, and that's a fact. Titans also committed six penalties for 45 yards, and they gave up plays in uh, at, at terrible times, uh, including a pair of third-down conversions to the Saints late. That was terrible. But again, nothing is more worse than the, than the, the missed uh, completions from Ryan Tannehill that would have been touchdowns. We wouldn't even be talking about that. Uh, the ref was terrible too. What about that fumble? It looked the same as that Josh Dobbs play against the Jags week, uh, what week 18, um, last year. Like, come on, bro. That's a fumble touchdown. Can't be cheating like that. Got to give a shout out to Nick Folk again. He was great. He was great. Amani Hooker. Great. Arden Key. Great. Danico Autry. Great. You guys, we, we, we've got some, some positives. You know what I'm saying? We got some things to be some things to be proud of like honestly i think there's some things that we should seriously be proud of and um again it's uh it's just crazy it's crazy because all of us wanted to win we were all ready for it i i get it trust me i get it but um you know it's on to the chargers next and the chargers are looking like they're gonna be pretty tough so i don't know man we'll see what happens man right now of course it's ryan Tannehill's team everybody knows that's not changing anytime soon um but yeah, the the performance that he put out was terrible. One of the worst performances, maybe the worst performance next to that Bengal performance I've ever seen him perform. Um, again, it, it's it's it it was hard to watch. It was so hard to watch. Um, seeing those throws, seeing Chig wide open, seeing that throw to Ty J Spears, uh, the back shoulder throw where it was just a little too high. Um, not seeing Chig, not even throwing him the ball when he should have. Um, Ryan Tannehill, I don't know if he's hurt. He can't run. I don't know because he looks like he can't. He's not even mobile anymore. Uh, one thing Ryan Tannehill has always been and had in his back pocket is is his his ability to run, his mobility. He's fast. I don't know if he can run anymore. He hasn't been able to really move. He tries stepping up in the pocket. He looks like he's slow. So it's weird. It's very strange to me. Um, I don't know. Maybe Father Time's catching up. I don't know. But uh, one thing's for sure, when you lose 15 to 16... You can't sit there and blame defense. If a team beats you and and they didn't even score twenty, can never blame defense. I don't care. I don't care what happened in the game. This is on the defense or the offense. the The offense is completely blamed for this, and it starts with Ryan Tannehill. And then obviously we have Derrick Henry. He was over five yards to carry at the time, and we ended up taking him out of the game. That doesn't work. That does not work. Tennessee Titans lose by one point and left so many points on the table. Ryan Tannehill, three interceptions, should have had five or six. They were dropped. Derrick Henry looks great. I like to see that burst. I like to um, I like to see him throwing people into the underworld, like I said before. It's just we got we to gotta start turning, you know, we got to start turning the shit into points, man. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating because it's like it shouldn't have even it shouldn't have even came down. It shouldn't have even happened like this. This shit we should have whooped their ass. It should have been a done deal. And now we're sitting here talking about it. And now we're sitting here talking about it. Got to use Derrick Henry more. You have to. Ryan Tannehill, stop throwing so many stupid ass throws. Stop forcing balls. You can trust your defense. But if you keep throwing interceptions, you're not even giving your defense a chance to rest, bro. They're going to be too tired. Nick Folk, again, looks great. Vrabal, I didn't like how he wasn't aggressive out there trying to go for it. (sighs) Frustrated, you guys. I'm so frustrated. All the people that dissed Derrick Henry and said he lost it or he's too old or whatever, you should have watched today. There's nobody in the world like him. One of one, special, elite. I'm so glad he's on this team. Um, let's see how we, you know, how we respond. Let's see how we respond. The Tennessee Titans have their hands full. Let's see how we respond. Again, weak division. Everybody knows that. We got a terrible-ass division. Derrick Henry. 
looks great. Ty J. Spears looks great. Tannehill just has to hit some of those throws. You got wide open people all day. And the offensive line wasn't great. We all know that. But the offensive line gave Tannehill enough time to make enough plays to win this game. Vrabel, you were not aggressive enough as a coach. You got to be better in those situations. We'll be fine. We've got a Super Bowl caliber defense. Derrick Henry looks like he's still that, that guy. D Hop looks great. <sighs> Titans are 0 1. Saints win. Congratulations to the Saints uh, fan base. Um, damn, this sucks. 0 1. Tighten up Code Blue Cyclops swag. You can't spell Titans without putting that T A in it. Let's go. Wow.